Facebook Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Second Thursday again. Angelina from With Science from Helping Hands. All right. Today, you guys, we are going to do a sand snake experiment. Okay. I know all of you guys think the experiment probably on YouTube. Huh. Found out on YouTube, they actually time speeded their experiments okay and they didn't explain everything you need to do so i'm going to explain everything down to the t okay show you guys the beginning experiment and the final all right it's sunny outside me and my classroom is outside today because it's fire and we don't want no fire alarm going off or the police coming so do not try this at home do not if you try it at home make sure you got a responsible adult with you and you're outside away from any type of grass or anything else that can catch fire, okay? I'm gonna employ your helping hands. I'm not responsible for fires, okay? No fires. So, when you see it on YouTube, you guys, it just shows you the timestamp experiment, okay? It don't tell you you need actually dry sand. You use sand. Dry sand works better opposed to regular play sand, all right? I brought play sand yesterday and we did a trial and error yesterday. They also didn't tell you that you need to let the sand soak in the lighter fluid or the um, alcohol. That's another reason that it wouldn't take really, really quickly, okay? So, I got the sand, I dried it out for about two hours when I got here this morning and it dried as much as it could. And I already added my rubbing alcohol, okay, the 70% isopropyl alcohol, all right? And I used lighter fluid, okay? The experiment on YouTube, they use the Zippo, but it's lighter fluid. As long as it's a solvent and a lighter fluid, we good, all right? You have to have your... It said 40 grams of sugar and 10 grams of baking soda, right? Yeah, that didn't work so well yesterday. It was too much sugar, too much baking soda. So yeah, no, it didn't work. So actually I played around with the measurements and I'm doing four tablespoons of sugar to one tablespoon of baking soda, okay? Remember four to one, all right? The 30 to 10 was not actually Okay, see, we have our mascot with us today. <laughs> she just want to enjoy outside. That's what that is. Okay. <laughs> the, even the experiment, 40 grams to 10 is not 4 to 1, okay? <laughs> so let's get started, you guys. You take, I got my four tablespoons of sugar, my one tablespoon of baking soda. I already mixed it in two little cups, okay? It mixed very well in both cups. Same amount for both cups. It's mixed, mixed, mixed well. All right. So now I'm going to pour it on top of. This is the sand with the alcohol, okay? This is the sand with the lighter fluid. So you see it's wet. I'm gonna add a little more lighter fluid and a little more alcohol, all right, you guys? So it's wet already, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more isopropyl alcohol just to make sure the whole sand is wet, okay? You put the alcohol and the lighter fluid far away from the flame once you finish, all right? We're going to add a little more. All right, when you do it, try not to get it on the table, okay? Try not. Please don't get it on the table. You got your mixture. You put a whole mixture on top, all right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little tunnel light, all right, in each one. So I can get all of the sand and bacon soda mixture on here, okay? You put the whole thing on there. That's the four to one measurement. All 
right? Angelina, what's the benefit of um, making the tunnel? The benefit of making a tunnel is to make sure you got all your ingredients in. So let's just say I didn't make the tunnel and I just put it on top. It's stacked up on a mound. It has no air to breathe at all, okay? With the little tunnel, you're allowing a little of the sugar and the baking soda to go inside of the sand, giving it a more action. Uh, we're gonna make a little circle in this one, okay? As you guys may not can tell, but it's less, less, a little less sand in the alcohol opposed to the um, lighter fluid, okay? So there's the mixture. Both of them has the same amount, four to one. Four tablespoons of sugar to one tablespoon of baking soda, okay? All right, so we're gonna put this to the side. Ouch. Yeah, I said ouch. Okay, got that one to light. Okay, you guys, the alcohol one seems to be more, being more stubborn, okay? So let me try this one again. As you guys see the stuff that's forming on that, that is actually the sugar burning. The sugar is the only thing that's burning because bacon flour and bacon soda does not burn. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Angelina. It's like not. I'm gonna borrow that fire. That's fire. Can you let me use it? Can you can, can you grab it? Can, can, can you catch? Can, can you catch? 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 I know. Can you catch? You gonna catch? Or are you gonna catch for me? Okay, you catching. There you go, you catching. Go ahead, baby girl. Go ahead. Come on, alcohol. Go on the catch. Go on the catch. Burn up in there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and let you. No, that's not hot, you guys, okay? But does not try that at home, okay? Do not. I'm gonna see if I can get the alcohol to come on, catch a little bit more. There you go. Just hit add a little more alcohol. Maybe around here. And don't Careful, don't get on the table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be well. Okay, so y'all see the alcohol burn a little bit? I see the alcohol a little bit. Just a little. I'm being careful. We all are careful. What do you say? There we go. I just need a little more. I just need to be across. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I got the alcohol to go on, you guys. 
So as it's burning, you can really see it with this one. Your sugar is burning and crystallizing, which is what is causing these dark ashes, okay? All that is actually ash, all right? And as it's burned, it burns, it's burned, it's keep burning the sugar baking it from like inside out okay and as it burn and sits and sits and sits and goes this should go for about a good 20 minutes okay and when it hit that 20 minutes it'll come out looking like this one here okay and this was on a smaller level so these are the two that we got out this that we did this morning with all the trial and errors as you see this one is sort of kind of funny bunch looking okay and this one is a little smaller the thing with these is while they're still burning with this one right here with the bowl it was burning and i was lifting the sand under it and as i was lifting the sand the rest of the sugar that was on there was still bubbling and turned into this this is nothing but ash you guys ash see you can take it and you can break it that's all ash so does sugar when it's finished crystallizing and burning it burns into ash and as you see it got a little bit of sugar left on the bottom of it which is hard okay it's all ash that's it this is how sugar, oops, my fault. It's outside, so it's okay. And same thing with this one. This is just ash. That's it. Now this one is much harder because it burnt, but as you see, it has more sugar on the inside that could have burnt with it. But since I was not uh, able to get around and manipulate the sugar and the sand at all, this is just the hard sugar right here okay but when it burns it burns to ash that's it now that one as you see it went flat it came from being flat to coming up a little bit so if you come around this way the way this one is burning it's burning coming sideways and This one went out. This is not burning no more at all. So the alcohol one, it's not burning. Mm, I don't think. Let me get a tongue and test that theory. Hold on. Manipulate the sand a little bit. It'll start probably having some type of reaction. Okay? You can see a little fire on this side. Now, with this, you see it burning, okay? And I'm going to still manipulate this a little bit. As every time I go in for a different spot, as you see, the fire comes up more. So what I'm doing is I am allowing the sugar to actually breathe against the fire, okay? So let's just say I pull half of that off, right? You see when I take that off, it's coming right back. See you guys? The fire is still cooking the sugar, okay? As you see, no matter how much you move away, the sugar is going to continue to cook. See? 
So you're moving the ash out, you're moving the ash, you're moving the ash, and it's just forming more ash because your flame is still there. Your surface is still hot, okay? And the sugar is still able to crystallize. Okay, so Facebook Live people, once again, thank you guys for joining me. If you try this at home, do not blame me, okay? I'm not gonna come clean up. I'm not gonna come put out no fire, okay? But please be safe. Research before you do it yourself, all right? Until next, the second Thursday next month, bye Facebook Live.